So around the house here, you'll find these small painted bees. There's a total of 12 bees. Feels like a game of Where's Waldo. I photographed honey hives. So I got to really be like fully immersed in like the world of the honeybee. It just felt like fate when I met my dog at the shelter and her name was Honey. Hi, my name is Albrika and welcome to my sweet digs. I live in Southeast Atlanta. I live in a three bedroom, two bathroom house. My mortgage is a little over $1,100 a month. It is a historically black neighborhood. It's a very quiet, peaceful place to live. I really love it here. This is my living area. I really love to entertain, so I like inviting a few friends over to come and chill. I just try to make sure that my living area is like cozy, welcoming, good vibes, good energy. I've lived in this house for two years. I closed on it um, right before the pandemic really hit in 2020. I would describe my home style as a little bit of everything. I borrow from a lot of different styles, Afro-Bohemian, vintage. I like to call it modern vintage. One of my best friends, Candy, wanted to do an accent wall for me. So she gave me this giant squiggle that I feel like is very uh, whimsical. This mirror that's also featured here was um, a vintage mirror given to me by my grandmother. She kind of had it in a closet and I was just like, if you don't want it, can I have it? And she was like, sure. <laughs> I think my favorite piece in the room is my frame TV. It was definitely a splurge, but well worth it. And it's a great way to like showcase my own art. I'm a photographer. I've been photographing for a little over nine years. I love to really express who I am through like art. I have a lot of art that I like to feature, including my own art. Throughout my home, I like to display a lot of black art, especially art by queer black women creatives. Um, for example, one of my favorite pieces is the peach color barrette that is on the top of my door. I really love to put queer black women artistry first since I also identify as a queer black artist. You're also gonna see a lot of vintage and antique and secondhand pieces. The best home find I have, I scored off of Facebook Marketplace, is my faux fireplace. A lot of people never realize that it's not really part of the house until I point it out. I try and just like look out for really special and unique things while I'm out thrifting and like antiquing. Just one of my favorite activities. This is my small dining area. The chairs and the table are all thrifted. One of the ways that I help to define the spaces within the open floor plan is to use area rugs. They help to define different zones in the house. Certain pieces came with the house, like my lighting fixture. This is my small bar area. I love this burl wood console that I got from Target. It was like an item that had been sold out for months. I was super happy when I was able to get it. This is my kitchen area. Very small, but very useful. Love the layout of it. This actually started as a very blank space. Everything was just white on white on white. I removed the doors from the cabinets to make it feel more open and it makes this kitchen feel a lot bigger. One thing that you're gonna find, especially in the kitchen area, is a lot of plants. This is an area that gets a lot of natural light, so I like to show my plants off. I have a very vast collection of over 50 plants. After taking the doors off in the kitchen, I just wanted another pop of color, so I got my cabinets painted green, which is one of my favorite colors. This is my pantry. It's a walk-in pantry. I kind of lucked out with this house when I saw how much storage I had. Another luxury is my laundry room. Honestly, it's one of my favorite spaces because of these um, sticker decals that are on the wall that look like terrazzo. It was really fun to decorate in here. This is the guest bathroom. Whenever I have guests over, I want them to feel as if they're in a luxurious place. So I have small amenities for them to feel comfortable and at home, kind of like a spa. I'm really drawn to lime wash paint, which is featured here in the bathroom. Lime wash paint makes the walls kind of look like stone or plaster. So it's a very light pink wash. The guest bedroom. I definitely wanted my guests to feel like, you know, they can get a good night's sleep. So I try not to keep the color palette too busy in here. I mean, it's very neutral, it's very calming. I also have one of my own photos uh, featured here that I feel like it really ties the entire room together. So people say they always sleep great in here. All right, so we're headed into my bedroom. 
which is very much inspired by more of like a modern Parisian feel. My bed is actually a secondhand Ikea bed that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I just went ahead and painted the headboard to match that same rust orange that's in the kitchen so that color kind of follows throughout the entire house. There's plenty of storage underneath the bed. Um, which is why I decided to forego um, dressers in here. The fan above the headboard is from Urban Outfitters and I feel like it really tied the entire room together. The most sentimental part of my house is my altar that I keep in my bedroom. Just a place for me to meditate and pray to my ancestors and spend some time with them. One of the best things about this house is my closet. There's a ton of space in here. I am a lover of shoes and purses. I wanted it to kind of feel like you're walking into a boutique essentially. So with the racks and the shelves and uh, the jewelry display, um, every time I walk in here, I feel like a princess. This is my bathroom. So when I first bought the house, my shower space had this really ugly tile that came with it. It's still there, but I was able to temporarily hide it with Ikea decking. So the wooden pieces that you see here and on the floor is just wooden tiles that click together that I can easily take up if I decide to change the tile underneath. So this is my office space, a place for me to get my work done as a photographer. Um, I spend a lot of time in here photo editing. Sometimes I also use the space as a mini studio where I can set up for portraits or even some small tabletop shots. It is the most colorful space in the house. Um, it's just a place to let my creativity flow. This photo came from a photo book that I created, which was about the evolution that you go through to become an adult. This is my patio space. When the sun comes in, it's very, very warm and there is really no shade around here. So I wanted to get an umbrella to make it a little bit cooler, utilize some different types of patio chairs and a bench, which I love to drink my morning coffee out here sometimes. I'll bring a speaker out here if I have friends over. We'll chill outside, have a couple drinks and just talk. As you can see, the backyard is huge. There's a lot of space. I definitely wanted to buy this house as soon as I saw the backyard because I was thinking, oh, my dog's gonna love it. And she absolutely does. She's out here all the time. One of my ideas for the concrete slab in the back is to install a greenhouse since I am a plant lady. And also maybe like a barbecue grill, a hammock, a fire pit. These things are yet to come. But one of the things that I do have right now is a veggie garden. I do have a green thumb. Um, it kind of runs in my family. Um, my great great grandfather was a tobacco farmer, so I feel like it's just kind of in my blood. I grow a lot of kale and squash, um, a lot of herbs in my um, veggie garden. In my flower garden, I'm currently planning on growing some lilies, some marigolds, and some hydrangeas. Since I acquired my home during the pandemic, I wasn't able to open it up to all my loved ones like I wanted to. As the pandemic is shifting and things are opening back up, I feel like I'm going to be able to bring all of my loved ones into the space that I have curated out of love and care. So hopefully they feel the love and support as they're coming through and they just think of my home as a safe space. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out my sweet digs.